What's up everyone, Armada here, and in today's video I'll talk about the 3 smashers that at some point in my career really inspired me to get better. It can be because of their gameplay, their storyline, or a combination of both. Pretty much everyone has someone they looked up to at some point, so let's get started with my list of the 3 smashers that had a huge impact on me and my career. You all thought this would be a melee list only? Well, that's not the case. Zero belongs on this list for many reasons. I'm a diehard fan for a great storyline, and Zero's climb from the bottom to the top is nothing short of amazing. Zero started off with competitive Smash back in his home country Chile, without a strong community and a lack of resources and money, he worked picking up fruits in the city for a really low salary. Zero also went to the US for a full year, way before playing Smash full time was realistic at all. All of this because he had a dream and a passion to become the best and do what he loves to do full time. This was at a time when playing Smash full time paid way lower than minimum wage. No sponsor were around, so just getting around to tournaments was a huge hassle and often involved bus trips that could take up to 12 hours or more and the cost to attend these tournaments could easily make you lose money. Even if you won the tournaments, the profits were very, very small at the time. So some may wonder, why? Why go through all of this hassle? Sierra had my biggest respect because even though all the odds were against him, he took and created an opportunity to achieve his dream. His passion and desire is amazing, and he really deserves all the success he ended up having in the end. Zero's story truly is amazing, and he proved to everyone that an underdog can become the best. Going to my first tournament back in early 2005, I had no idea who Ek was. That would soon change. Watching Ek play and eventually win that tournament gave me a lot of inspiration to get better at melee. I shortly after even picked up Marv as my main character, mainly because Ek inspired me to play him. This is the first and only time I ever picked up a character because I got inspired by someone. So what was it that made Ek special? Honestly, a lot of things. But when it came to his playstyle, it was just so unique. His way to combo people was something I had never seen before, and even long after his peak, I was still always impressed by his decision making, both in neutral and punish game. It truly was a form of art, something that made me believe that you can learn a lot about a human being just watching them play the game. He was extremely creative, often it felt like he was just naturally having a great understanding of the game and that everything clicked for him. Watching Ek play often made me wonder how far this game could be pushed, because more than anyone I had ever seen, he seemed to always find new ways to get better and make this game even more beautiful than it already was. And it was not only me that really enjoyed watching Ek play in Sweden, pretty much all of the Smashers in Sweden had a blast watching him play. It was not only Ek's playstyle that motivated me though. As a fellow Swede, he showed me and the rest of Sweden that despite our small community at the time, you could still get really good. He was the champion of Europe for quite some time and had some really good sets with Captain Jack when he was one of the absolutely best in the world. Ek never going to the US will probably always remain the biggest mystery for me when it comes to melee, but even if he never did, he clearly had the biggest impact on me. A true melee legend that I will always be thankful for in so many ways. These days, people expect melee to be extremely optimized and every combo and edge guard should lead to a kill. Even if this mentality often gets blown out of portion, it is still true that the players have gotten really good in those regards. One person was the one to really invent and push edge guards to the next level, and that was Cory and GJ. At the time, I did not really grasp the concept of edge guards very well at all, and I guess very few people did. It was basically not even a thing. But watching Corin GJ fly so far off stage to secure a kill was very inspiring and very fun to watch. It was basically like Corin GJ created a new page to the book of melee, one of the most exciting parts of the game for me personally. And watching all of these matches from Corin GJ, especially his Sheik, made me very motivated to get better myself and to start really work on my edge cards. We all have Corin GJ to thank for a lot, and for me, he is a clear choice on this list. Hope you all enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below what smashers that inspired you the most and why. If you like the channel and want to support me, make sure to remember to subscribe. And have a great day everyone.